you have any questions, please just raise your hand and ask. Um, I'm going to still do the show in two parts. First, I'm going to do some non-venomous snakes and animals that you can handle, and then we'll get to the, the deadly stuff. I'm going to start off with this one. This, hello, is a Taiwanese rat snake. Um, it's also called the Taiwanese beauty snake for a couple of reasons. You can see why. Taiwanese rat snakes, uh, well, they eat rats. And at full size, they can grow about three meters long. In general, Taiwanese rat snakes are uh, very nippy. They tend to bite a lot. Uh, this one's a male, so he's a little bit calmer. But all Taiwanese rat snakes are incredibly active. Okay, you can see this. He's like a kid with ADD. His attention's all over the place. So it's very rare that you get a chance to handle a snake like this. Uh, because in most cases, if you stick your hand in the cage, they go for you. But Archie here was raised for eight, hand raised, reared for eight years uh, by someone who loved him very, very much. So he's handled every day. And at this stage, um, and at his size, he doesn't see humans as dangerous at all. Um, this is a very, very nice snake to keep if you like, um, if you want to keep a beautiful snake that gets a good size, but doesn't get danger dangerous enough to kill you. Um, but if you're going to keep uh, something like a Taiwanese rat snake, you really have to give them a lot of attention. Otherwise, one day you're going to stick your hand in the cage and it's going to go for you. I'm going to pass him around and you guys are welcome to hold him, touch him, take some pictures. He's really not going to bite. He just happens to be a very, very active snake. Go for it. There you are. You'll see the snake tends to wrap around you with its tail. Uh, all snakes have prehensile tails, so the snake is just holding on to you because it doesn't want to fall. When you're ready, you just pass him around, and I'll get him back when we're done. Next is the Australian bearded dragon. And it's called the bearded dragon because when they get upset or they get excited, they puff up their throat, and these sparks on the throat change color. So quite often it looks like they've got a big black beard. The bearded dragon is the most popular and the most kept reptile pet in the world. Um, Every bearded dragon has personality. Uh, they live for between 8 and 12 years. This is close to adult size. So they're very easy animals to keep. They're very easy to look after. And when you go shopping, you can put them on your hat. Or if you don't have a hat, you just put them on your shoulder. And they'll be quite happy to sit there the whole day. They're very curious, so they like to look at all the moving colors and all the new interesting smells. So they're very happy to go with you anywhere you go. Um, the sparks on the side of the body make them look inedible. And sometimes a predator will give them a bit, bit of a test bite, and these sparks stick on the tongue. And it makes the bearded dragon seem like biting in a bunch of thorns. But if you touch the thorns, they're actually soft. They're more like rubber. Uh, they've got sharp little claws, but the claws are only used uh, for digging and for climbing. So if they get chased by an animal, they can also climb up a tree or they can dig for a nest. I'm going to put one on each side. Do me a favor. Don't let the... Rat snake, come near the beardy. Okay. <laughs> this is an American Alexander? corn snake. It is called a corn snake because the belly buttons look like speckled corn. And in America, where they come from, you'll find them in cornfields. These things, these snakes prey on rats and mice, so they protect the farmers' crops and they also protect their farm animals from disease. Now, if you look at this one, you'll see it is busy shedding its skin. Uh, the faster a, snake's, uh, a snake grows, the more often they shed. So it's, uh, this snake shed a month ago, and it's already shedding again, which means it's good and healthy, and it's growing nice and fast. Again, this is the, the, these two snakes are all constrictors. They have no venom, so they squeeze their prey to death. And a snake will generally only swallow something as thick as the thickest part of its body. So this one here will swallow a large mouse or a small rat. Where Archie there, he'll go for a nice big run if you can. Again, I'm going to pass this one around. So check him out and have fun. I'll give you folks a couple of minutes uh, to handle all the animals and take some photos. And then we get started with the venomous snakes. No, no, no. Can you want a snake slide? Does anybody have I know what a snake does. Activate. Yeah. He's much different to that. Um, yeah.